The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled in favor of a Colorado baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. Now, those justices ruled the state showed, quote, religious hostility toward the baker. Adam Bennett has more on what this ruling means for businesses here in Houston. Adam. Well, Rekha, the impact here is very narrow, but experts say this could open the door for other cases to reach the high court and have a wider impact. Still, this is a case that our legal analyst says he's been watching for five years with an outcome he didn't expect. Well, congratulations to you two. Thanks. The issue taking center stage in Houston's Alley Theater's newest play, The Cake, took a real life twist today in the Supreme Court case that partially inspired it. I don't create custom designs for events or messages that conflict with my conscience. The controversy started six years ago when Denver area baker Jack Phillips refused to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple based on his religious beliefs. That couple says they're disappointed with today's decision, but not defeated. I feel like we've helped change public opinion and that's a win for us. The Colorado Civil Rights Commission had ruled that Phillips violated that state's anti-discrimination law, but in a seven to two decision, the U.S. Supreme Court justices said that commission showed anti-religious bias and violated Phillips' First Amendment rights. What the court did today was a very narrow ruling. Rebecca Robertson of Equality Texas, which fights for LGBTQ rights, calls the ruling disappointing, but narrow in impact. Our civil rights laws are still in effect and there is no constitutional opt-out. I don't think it affects any of that. KHOU 11 legal analyst Gerald Tree says, if anything, this case just sets the stage for another case. The question of can you deny services to a, a gay couple, we still don't know the answer to that. And the court's ruling did reaffirm protections for LGBTQ rights. And Tree says the justices did acknowledge those refusal of service issues are still there and said they'll wait for another case in the future to tackle them. Reka. Very interesting. Thank you, Adam.